Today you're gonna to get to see inside a production facility you've never seen before. I'm Rob from FLX with your Babymaker production update of the week. Quick reminder, we do have a live at 2 p.m. PST tomorrow where you can ask us anything about Babymaker production or meet the rest of the staff. But without further ado, let's jump into this update. So our first production facility in China has served us great to this point. It was a little bit small, a little bit darker than we'd like, a little bit more cramped than we'd like. They have officially moved into a new production facility that's larger, better lit, and it's going to allow us to build baby makers at a faster pace. So today you're gonna to see footage from inside that production facility. It is, uh, it jumps around a little bit, so just be warned in advance. I'm going through these in the best way I can. Let's hop right into the videos. So this is the new production facility. You can see there is a lot of room here, still not being totally utilized and We'll get to see more of it shortly. All right, so let's just look around here. This is actually the packaging area. That's a strapping machine that puts the straps on the boxes when it's done. Got some racks for storage, uh, miscellaneous items here. Looks like we've got some chargers there, boxes with chargers. That's the hardware area, so for packaging, all the, uh, you know, the pedals, the tools, et cetera, that go into the packaging, so another part of the packaging area here. Back there in the back, you can see some baby maker boxes. So here we see some storage, some baby makers that are ready to go, super exciting. In the back, if you look closely, a lot of bike boxes. So we actually have both baby makers and some of our other boxes as well, ready to go. And it looks like some touring packages there just next to the baby maker boxes as well. So a lot of components stacked up here in the new facility. Here's what we wanna see, the production line here. You've got that conveyor belt that the frames can go on and kind of build the bikes upside down. Very cool. We've got some, looks like tangerine and blue raspberry baby makers on the line. Here you can see the staging area for the handlebars. So these are some Sterling Pros. The handlebars, they all get built individually first. It's much faster to do it that way. Build the handlebars, put the brakes on, everything on it and then add that to the completed bike later. Here's the jig for putting the crank on the front chain ring. These are for a Sterling Pro, it looks like. So here's a press to put the cadence sensor onto that front crank. Really cool. All right, a bunch of frames lined up here. It looks like we have a good mix of 19s and 23s, matte black, Sterling, Kiwi, Tangerine, Berry. Lots of colors here. Those sure look beautiful, don't they? Looking down the triangles. So here the tires are going on the actual wheels. It looks like the wheels have all been built and now the tires are going on. This looks like uh, wheel building with the hub motor boxes there. A nice look down this production line of the factory. Super excited to see that everything is clean. You notice there is a gray area. So gray area is where people walk, where things move. Green is where people do not walk. So all the building happens in the green areas and the gray area is a moving zone. Okay, that's all the footage and images I have from inside the new facility. They are brand new online. It's the same exact people that we had at the old facility, but new and improved in a better location, much bigger, much more light. They've got the overhead lights for working at night, a lot cleaner than the other place. So super excited for that. That should increase the morale a little bit and increase the potential for even better quality products moving out. So big win in China. All right, that's all the factory footage I've got in this update. And a quick note, I'm up past my bedtime. I've been waiting for this footage to come in to share it with you guys on this update. So if I seem a little bit low energy, it's only because it's past my bedtime. Let's get into the challenges. So the first thing, just touching back on last week, we had a challenge about the Easter holiday in Spain. That has been ongoing since Thursday of last week through Monday of this week. It's actually Monday now, so we haven't had any news from Spain. I'm filming this on a Monday night. Tomorrow, we hope to see some news from there. Hope to see uh, bikes moving. So there are 88 bikes that are ready to go this week. They're shipping out this week on their way to the UK and uh, they're wrapped. The notifications have been sent out and some VAT letters will be going out to buyers as well. So the next challenge we have has to do with port congestion. It's something we've seen before and it affects two groups of bikes, T2 and T3, which were headed for the US. This is 484 Babymaker Pros between T2 and T3. 
Uh, they have been on the water and actually sitting off the coast of Oakland for about two weeks now, just waiting for that spot at the dock. So this is a multi-route shipment. Normally we can get direct ones, but not on this one. This is one that goes and I think it hits Seattle, Oakland, and then down to our port of Long Beach. So it's got to Oakland in there. There's no parking spots at the port. The boats can't get in. So it's it's just one stop here where these, these guys are waiting on the parking spot. Normally it's really smooth, but with all the container ships and all the fiasco in the whole sh worldwide shipping uh, industry, it's taken quite a bit longer than usual for them to get the parking spot. So the ETA for those two groups of bikes has moved from April 6th, which is today, all the way to April 26th. So quite a long delay there, 20 day delay uh, due to port congestion, unfortunately, but that's where those bikes are out. We will keep you guys updated on those two shipments. You can also read about them on our production updates. Those are the two major challenges we've had this week. Apart from that, nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary has happened. Bikes continue being built. A uh, quick update in China, the low volume locations, they're built. They just need to be boxed. We're gonna be sending two samples to Japan. So that's two baby makers to Japan. The first ones, we're sending those kind of as a test journey because uh, it is a very, very strict country. We wanna make sure it goes smoothly before we ship all the bikes to Japan. We'll also continue working on the other locations as well. So we'll keep you updated on those, but the LVLs are pretty much ready to go and they will be going out. Apart from that, we have finally received the charge cables for the battery. So if you ordered an additional battery for your baby maker, we've been holding off on sending those until we get the actual charge cable, which will allow you to charge that battery outside of the bike. So you won't have to be swapping batteries in and out just to be able to charge that extra battery. And that's everything I've got for you guys. That's the new facility. Those are the challenges. And now that the Easter holiday is over, we're gonna keep you guys updated on Spain. If I do get any additional images from Spain, because it's Monday now, if I get them Tuesday in time to post this update, I'll be sharing that. Otherwise, you'll be able to read about it next week. And in the official Baby Maker Facebook group, when those bikes do leave, I'll try and get some photos and post in there as well. So you might be able to see it before the next official Indiegogo update. Thank you guys so much for watching the update. I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's live. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great week. Happy Easter, by the way, and I'll see you later.